In this video, I'm going to show you a refinement that I've made to my electrolysis bath. So for ages, I've been using these tins, but that was because I had a ready source of them. But we're no longer getting those tins anymore, so I need to find something else. And I've had a pretty cool idea. Offcuts of uh, sheet metal like this are really, really commonplace, so they're really easy to get. Um, also, what I'm thinking is if I cut this so it fits into the tub and then attach electrodes at the top as it rusts away it can just sink down into the mix and then when it gets to where the electrodes are getting near the top so the electrodes don't corrode I can then you know unclip it and then put another piece in and that should be a really quick and easy way the other cool thing about this is it gives a really good surface area and that's one of the important things with electrolysis so I'm going to have to trim this down a bit. So there. My helmet's a bit wet. drips <laughs> yuck Ooh. oh down the back of the neck ah! Yeah, that's um, <laughs> that's pretty cactus. It, uh, I could tell I needed changing because the electrolysis didn't work overnight when I had some things connected to there, and that's because there's basically there's no metal left. It's all just rust. Oh, that water's cold. Oh, far out. go well, these clips might not be enough I might need to to do a screw fitting and get a better attachment so I couldn't find anything immediately to hand and then I got distracted and of course now it's night time so I've come back out to put something in the bath overnight here are my choices I've got a, a number of different Japanese uh, log levers which would be cool to restore one of those Although, I'm not really doing much milling at the moment, so I don't think I really need one. So what I think I've settled on is to restore and put into, put into use one of these Ballarat pattern uh, picks. I don't really have a good pick for my prospecting work, and I'm working on a gravel bank at the moment which is full of rocks, and one of these will be brilliant to use. So I'm going to hook this up and stick it in the bath overnight, and then make a handle for it. Now, if you haven't seen any of my electrolysis videos before, uh, electrolysis couldn't be simpler. It is not only the best, gentlest, most effective way of removing rust from tools, it's also a really, really simple way. And there's a lot of videos out there, a lot of blog posts that make it a lot more complicated than it needs to be. It's basically just something to hold water, throw some um, uh, baking soda in there, and then have a power source at some point. Now, the power source I recommend is simply a war wart. And if you're like most of the Western world, you've probably got a bunch of these just sitting around doing nothing. And you just cut the plug end off it and then connect it up so you've got the, the positive uh, uh, connections going to the sacrificial anode, the thing that rusts away, and the negative going to the thing that you're removing the rust off. And that's it. Like a lot, I've seen a lot of other videos where people recommend battery charges and um, complicated regulated power supplies and stuff. What are you up to, dog? But but you you really don't need any of that. Just some sort of power supply is it. And the great thing about those wall warts is they've got built-in safety mechanisms which um, regulate them, so you don't have to worry about them, you know, blowing up. 
Well, it's the next morning. Let's see how it's gone. There we go. And I've got a, a magnet holding this end on. That might not look like much, but let's see how it scrubs up. Right, now, I might have a go at Sarah, because, you know, when I injure myself, she doesn't give me much sympathy. If you ever want sympathy in your marriage, don't marry a nurse. But she does let me do things like this in the kitchen sink. And then even films me while I'm doing it. Without any complaint. Well, you did say 30 seconds, and it's now a minute oh, 12. Oh, well, it's taking a little longer than I thought it might. There we go. Thank you. I'll take over. Do you want me to stop the filming? Yep. Sure. Not with all the other background noises, my. Do you want to get wet? Oh. Well, that's come up rather well. I might need to go over it a bit more with some more um, of the steel wool. There's still a bit more of rust around here, but um, and maybe a little bit more on the inside. But you can see how well it's cleaned up. But the, the full restoration of this and the making of the handle for it will be in another video. So if you don't want to miss that, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell notification, and when I do it, uh, you'll get notified. Um, but in the meantime, uh, I've got to work out what I'm doing for the rest of the day. It's either going to be harvesting more reed or getting on with some thatching. So, catch you guys later. Bye-bye.